Good afternoon, Messiah kids. I was wondering, have you ever done anything that um, you wish you hadn't done? Or have you ever um, had some kids maybe want you to do something that you knew wasn't right and so you didn't do it? It's hard to do, isn't it? I did that one time. I remember some kids were doing some things that I knew wasn't right. And um, so I, it was at school, so I stood up in front of the faculty and said, here's what I know. And it was very hard to do. It's hard, it's hard to stand up against what um, everybody says is normal. So I've got a story for you um, that shows how God always takes care of us. So there was a man named Daniel who lived in the kingdom of Babylon. Daniel had great faith in God. King Darius was in charge of Babylonia. He had a lot of men who helped him to rule the kingdom. But the king trusted Daniel more than any other man. In fact, he trusted Daniel so much that he put him in charge of all the other rulers of the kingdom. The other rulers didn't like that Daniel was in charge of them. So there's Daniel when he got put in charge of all the other rulers. The rulers wanted to get Daniel in trouble with the king, but they could never catch Daniel doing anything wrong. So they came up with a sneaky plan that was sure to get Daniel into trouble. One day they went to speak with the king. Mighty King Darius, we have come together to ask you to make a new law that honors you. One of the rulers began. The king nodded. Hmm. So these guys are being sneaky and kind of nasty. The ruler continued. The law shall state that if someone prays to any god or man other than you, then that man shall be thrown into a den of lions. Oh my goodness. One of the rulers handed the written law to the king. Now sign this law, dear king, to make it official. King Darius signed the law. Then the men set out to catch Daniel breaking it. They knew that Daniel was faithful to his God. They knew that no matter what, Daniel would continue to pray to his God. And they were right. Those lions look pretty scary, don't they? Yeah. Okay, let's see what happens. Daniel had heard about the new law, but he believed that honoring God was much more important than honoring men. So just as Daniel had done every other day, he went into his room to pray. He was not ashamed of his faith. His windows were wide open for the world to see, even though it could get him in trouble. Daniel would give thanks to God. The rulers stood as a group outside Daniel's window. They grinned as they watched Daniel fall to his knees. They smiled as they heard him speak to God. And they knew that they finally had what they needed to get Daniel in trouble with the king. That's just not very nice. The men rushed off to speak with King Darius. 
Excuse me, King Darius, one of the rulers said, but didn't you just sign into law saying, if someone prayed to anyone but you, that man would be thrown into the lion's den? King Darius answered, yes, that is true. Well, the ruler tried to hide his evil grin. Daniel doesn't care about you or your law. He prays to his God three times a day. The king's heart sank. King Darius loved Daniel. He trusted Daniel, and he had never thought that by signing that law, he would have to send Daniel to the lion's den. The mean rulers saw that the king wanted to protect Daniel, so they reminded him, remember, any law that you have signed cannot be changed. The king knew that this was true. Nothing he could say or do would protect Daniel now. He had no choice but to send Daniel to the lion's den. King Darius doesn't like this. King Darius told his men to go get Daniel and take him to the lion's den. Then the men threw Daniel in with the lions. The king hurried to the den. He called down to Daniel, Daniel, may the God that you serve save you from these terrible lions. <clears throat> it's looking kind of bleak for Daniel. That night at the palace, the king refused to eat. He turned away the musicians who tried to play for him, and he did not sleep at all. As soon as the first sliver of light fell upon the kingdom, the king jumped up and ran to the lion's den. He yelled into the den, Daniel, Daniel, are you okay? Has your God saved you from the lions? Oh yes, King Darius, came a voice from the lion's den. God sent an angel to close the lion's mouths. They didn't hurt me at all. I am fine. The king was so happy. Come, hurry, he called to his men. Get Daniel out of the lion's den. The men reached into the den and out climbed Daniel. King Darius ran to him and looked him over. He couldn't believe it. Daniel didn't have a scratch on him. Daniel had been faithful to his God, and God had saved Daniel from the lion's den. Not a scratch. It was then that King Darius decided to punish the rulers who had accused Daniel of disobeying the king's law. He also decided to write a new law. From now on, throughout my kingdom, the king announced everyone must honor the God of Daniel. After that, Daniel continued to serve King Darius, and as always, Daniel continued to worship the one true God. There he is. He's safe and sound. The mean rulers got in trouble. And that's kind of what happens is that sometimes when you plan and do mean things, it comes back around and you get caught. And that's what happened to them. So, um, and Daniel showed us that it's always good to stand up for your beliefs. Our craft today, of course, has to be something to do with the lion. So, here is your craft. If you won't mind, if you'll hold on a minute. She's up. I'm taking care of my granddaughter today 
And I thought she'd get up for story time, but she slept through. Here is your craft. You can turn yourself into a lion. I guess it works better without my glasses. Anyhow, this is just a paper plate. And I cut out the center of it, as you can see. And then for the edges, I had this cool um, yarn. So I thought I would just glue it around and around and it would kind of look like the lion's mane. But I have some other ideas for you because I know not everybody has that cool yarn laying around. Um, you can take pieces of paper like we did with the Red Sea and make curls out of them. And you could do different colors like orange and yellow and put them all over the paper plate. Another fun idea would be to use spiral pasta. So that's kind of a cool idea. And then you can just use your imagination. You might have other things that you think of. I know, maybe you have some dead grass out in your yard. You could use some brown grass and glue it on. So, anyhow, there's lots of options. So, Daniel taught us that it's always good to stand up for what you believe, even though other people are telling you that's not what you should be doing. So, let's bow our heads for prayer. Good and gracious God, please help us to stand up for what we believe in and to never falter when we are trying to talk about you and trying to tell other people about you. Because we know you are by our side and will help us get through whatever challenge we are in. So bless my Messiah friends and um, just be with us. In your name we pray. Amen. Okay, I hope you guys are all staying nice and cool on this hot, steamy day. And I will be back with you on Monday with another fun Bible story. Bye.